Welcome to Watch Chit Chat. Please like this video if you find it useful. Uh, this is a review of the Navy Seal Color Mark 3065 by Luminox. It's got a nice little case. Um, it's like a, a, a nylon material, like with a shell. So I'll go ahead and unzip it. They put a nice little foam insert in here. And in the back side of the foam insert, there is a, a warranty information and a little tag that came with the watch. <clears throat> Here is the Luminox. Just to you know, to start out mentioning, Luminox is a really cool brand. Um, they have a lot of different variations of watches. They have three different lines: uh, Air, Land, and Sea. I believe this is part of the C collection. <clears throat> so this is um, this is the Luminox. Uh, pretty, very nice watch. Just got it in. It is. Um, it's a very light watch. You know, just to start off talking about this, the case of this watch is a um, it's like a, a carbon material. So if you if you tap it, if you can hear. Uh, it definitely does not feel or sound like stainless steel. Um, you know, it's it's obviously not PVD coated. It's just the, the color of the carbon. Uh, they went with the screw down case back, uh, the four different screws holding it down. You can see some other information back here. Let me zoom in. Uh, let's see. 200 meters water resistance. Uh, it says PC slash carbon case. Then it says the series. This is the... Uh, 3050 series uh, Swiss made and it does have a mineral crystal um, case doesn't have the smoothest lines I mean I know it does have these crown guards right here uh, they, they you know cause this little part to protrude out and they kind of made it symmetrical on this side so it's kind of even on both sides um, I noticed that the case of this watch is very short lugs they're very stubby it has a unidirectional bezel. Obviously, it goes to the left. All the numbers on it uh, painted red, and then at the 12 o'clock indicator at the top, uh, there's a little gas tube right here. And I gotta say, for the price point of this watch, the, the, it's got some really solid clicks. I mean, you can hear them, they're loud. Um, <clears throat> this is a quartz watch, so. You know, not quartz aren't my favorite watches, but um, it does keep great time. It's, it, it contributes to the weight of the watch. I mean, this thing is extremely light. Um, but like I said, you know, quartz does keep excellent time. Obviously, you can tell by the click there. You know, just to go over some things about the dial, uh, there's gas tubes at every hour marker, and there's gas tubes on the hour. Uh, minute and second hand. One cool thing, uh, the gas tube on the second hand and the gas tube at the 12 o'clock indicator are glow blue and then every single, uh, every other tube uh, glows in this, um, it's a, I guess it's like an orange type color. Definitely very visible. Luminox, you know, they claim about 25 years you'll get out of these and I'm sure down the road they could always be you know, they could always be changed out if you send it back to Luminox. I haven't inquired about it, but I'm sure that's something they uh, they definitely will do. Um, <clears throat> one thing about the dial, I, you know, I, I mentioned in the written review, if you can see here, I shouldn't even say the dial, but um, right here, the uh, date disc is white. I mean, if you can tell looking up close, everything on this watch pretty much is black, other than the numbers, obviously. The, uh, the crown right here is like a grayish color, but I really think that uh, a black date disc with white numbers would have fit this better. I, I just think it would have went with the whole flow and it would have looked a little bit nicer, but I mean, that's just my opinion. Um, <clears throat> there's a, you know, the hour, I should say the tubes on the uh, near the hour markers are on a slightly angled chapter ring, which uh, does give some depth. Uh, you can see right here, quartz, 200 meters water resistance, which is obviously plenty for anybody wearing this watch for recreational use or even scuba diving. I highly doubt people go below 200 meters, but I'm sure there's some out there. Um, talk about, you know, the, the strap a little bit. It's a, it's a rubber strap. Actually, it's rubber. 
kind of like an amalgam of rubber and silicone. Uh, if you can feel it, it's definitely smooth. It, it, it doesn't stick to the wrist. I know a lot of just regular rubber type straps do tend to want to stick to the wrist. I really don't have a whole lot of hair on my wrist, but uh, some, a lot of people do and it does sticks and this one doesn't because of the I'm guessing because of the silicone so it does a good job of really you know being comfortable on the wrist one thing I want to mention about the strap other than it is very soft and comfortable they do do uh, double prongs on the clasp right here so it's definitely not going to go anywhere and these two um, loops for the strap this one if you can see here has a little stop so it won't slide forward and obviously this one does which is great when you're putting it on. Let's see here. Sometimes these straps are not the easiest to get on. And then push it through, which is nice. Those stops make this one not move, and this one's adjustable. One thing I, I, I do mention, or I did mention in the article, it's easy to pop it through the first one right here. But sometimes the second one, it tends to want to get caught a little bit. And it can be a little bit difficult to take off, but overall it's not that bad. Very comfortable. Like I said, it's super light. Very light watch. Um, you know, the quality and the construction of this for what you're paying, I, I, honestly, I think is amazing. Um, it, you know, they do offer some models with ETA movements in it. Obviously they're not modified ETA movements, but you can get some Luminox models um, with automatic movements, which is kind of nice, but the majority of their line is quartz. Overall, it's a great watch. Um, you can purchase this watch. I believe the retail, let me take a look here. I believe it is $350. So, you know, overall, I, I really like it. I think most people that would purchase this watch would love it. Um, the great like everyday watch just to wear in, in you know different scenarios and for different things. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please comment or email me. Thanks.